what went into his thinking, being surrounded by radicals. He is bringing us back, Sean, to sit down. Uh, you, you can hearken back to days before the Civil War, when uh, unfortunately too many Americans mistakenly believed that not all men were created equal. You should be happy that Muslims who follow the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, number one, don't believe in any form of integration and, who be and, and believe that every mention of the word integration by whites, whether it be from the mouth of Kennedy on down to the mouth of the lowest, raggediest white liberal in the street who is beatnik-like involving himself in these integration efforts, if we believed in it, we would integrate well, uh, uh, before passing an opinion on what it is he's trying to do. I would like to uh, analyze it and see who's subsidizing him, see who his friends are, especially who his white friends are. Uh, and after uh, a careful analysis, if I could conclude that uh, there was no uh, white support, I would be inclined to have confidence in it. But if I saw him leaning too heavily upon his white liberal friends for support, then I'd be suspicious of that too. The Muslims, in my opinion, uh, represent an all-black party. Uh, and the Honorable Elijah Muhammad pointed out at uh, before 10,000 in Philadelphia on uh, September the 29th uh, at a rally that we were having that in 1964, the black people should band together and do something about electing, uh, selecting, electing uh, representatives, black representatives, politically, uh, who have the uh, rights and the uh, the best interests of the black people at heart, and that we should also unite together and sweep out of office all of the black political puppets who are used by the white power structure to continue white supremacy uh, in our communities. In July of 1947, the First Presidency of the Mormon Church stated this in a letter, that the Negroes are not entitled to the full blessings of the gospel. The gospel message of salvation is not carried affirmatively to them. The Negroes, Negroes are, are not, not equal, equal with other races. Where Church policy had it that blacks uh, had the mark of Cain. Brigham Young said, Cain slew his brother, and the Lord put a mark upon him, which is the flat nose and black skin. It's behind us. Look, that's behind us. Don't worry about those little flicks of history. Why it took so long time to overcome the racism? I don't know. Racism's grip on Mormon practice has been so strong during Mitt Romney's lifetime that it was not until 1978 Mitt Romney was 31 years old at the time. Critical thing is the Mormon Church was an officially racist organization while he was an adult. I thought racism was behind the church, was behind us since 1978. But what I learned from my Mormon students was that it was still ingrained in them. They still believed the curse of Cain. Theology professor Obrey Hendricks, writing in the Huffington Post today, points to several passages in the Book of Mormon which condemn black people as cursed. You were 31 years old, and your church was excluding blacks from full participation. Didn't you think, what am I doing part of an organization that is viewed by many as a racist organization? I'm very proud of my faith, and the faith of my fathers, and I certainly believe that it is a, a faith, um, well, it's true, and I, I, I love my faith, and I'm not going to distance myself in any way from my faith. So when the Mormon missionaries come walking through your neighborhood, you can be as wise as a serpent and as harmless as a dove and say, get off my porch, you racist.
Governor Romney declares a state of emergency, requests federal troops, and 5,000 paratroopers reinforce the National Guard, state and city police. The city's industry and business are severely affected, and a tight curfew is ordered in the motor center. A besieged city of guerrilla warfare, sniper groups use day and night hit and run tactics before tanks move in to curb their window and rooftop barrage. Wreckage is everywhere. That the vast majority of Negroes and whites are shocked and are outraged by them. Pillage, looting, murder, and arson have nothing to do with civil rights. They are criminal conduct. Your president calls upon all of our people in all of our cities to join in a determined program to maintain law and order, to condemn and to combat lawlessness in all of its forms, and firmly to show by word and by deed that riots, looting, and public disorder will just not be tolerated. Finally, I can tell you what the Romney campaign strategy against, against Obama will be right now. As soon as you get Romney on a stage in a debate with Obama, Romney will do nothing but kiss Obama's ass. Why? Because Romney thinks that if he does this, that Obama won't call him a racist. At a dinner in Washington, D.C., where we were both invited to tell some jokes about our respective parties. And I found him to be a nice guy. I think he's a nice person. I, I just don't think we can afford him any longer. I, I don't think the American people can afford to have Barack Obama as their president. Asserted that the American people shared a collective guilt for the persecution of Negroes, much as Germans did because of their silence during the Nazi persecution. Newsflash, y'all. Obama is going to call anyone who runs against him a racist. You can run a resurrected Rosa Parks against Obama and he'd call her a racist because that's all Obama can do. He sure as hell can't run on his record. And I promise you, this is going to be the biggest race-baiting fiasco the world has ever seen. And Romney is going to play right into it. We are all Trevor Martin! The bastards fled! The cops, the courts, the Ku Klux fled! and Romney is gonna play right into it. All of the ignorant, uninformed masses will hear during the election cycle and debates is Obama talking about how great Obama is, the media talking about how great Obama is, and Mitt Romney talking about how great Obama is to prove that Mitt Romney isn't a racist. our country to move backwards instead of moving forward with that understanding that as our charters of liberty spell out for us, mm -hmm. we are all created equally. The RNC is completely corrupt and so that is exactly who they are going to hand over. All they want is to keep their palms greased and to keep their seats at the table of power. <laughs> 